Use these prayers in faith, trusting that God's word will accomplish what it is sent to do, as it says in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. Psalm 34, verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the assurance of your protection. Your word says that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear you, and you deliver them. Lord, I ask for your divine covering over my life and my family. Let your angels guard us day and night, shielding us from harm, danger, and every evil scheme of the enemy. Father, as the mountains surround Jerusalem, surround us with your protection and preserve us from every unseen and seen danger, as stated in Psalm 125, verse 2. We declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against us in judgment is condemned in Jesus' name. Lord, I also pray for deliverance from any trap the enemy may have set. Break every chain of oppression, fear and bondage in our lives. Deliver us from physical, spiritual and emotional attacks. I stand on the promise in Psalm 34 verse 19. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Father, arise as our deliverer and let your power scatter every adversary. I proclaim that in you we are safe and in your shadow we find refuge. Thank you for being our strong tower and hiding place. Psalm 32 verse 8 I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Father, I come before you, seeking your divine guidance in every area of my life. Your word declares that you will instruct me and teach me the way I should go. Lord, I trust in your promise to counsel me and guide me with your loving eye. I surrender all my plans, desires and thoughts to you, knowing that apart from you, I can do nothing. Help me to walk in the path of righteousness and avoid the pitfalls of life. Teach me to discern your voice, even amidst distractions, and lead me into your perfect will. Lord, I ask for your light to illuminate every dark path before me. Let your word, which is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path, as it says in Psalm 119, verse 105, guide me in my decisions. Give me wisdom to make choices that honor you and align with your purpose for my life. Father, guard me against leaning on my own understanding and help me to acknowledge you in all my ways so that you may direct my paths, as stated in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Thank you for being my shepherd and for leading me beside still waters. Psalm 16, verse 11. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. O oh Lord, I long for your presence in my life. There is no greater joy than being close to you. Your word says that in your presence there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Father, I desire to dwell in your presence, where peace, joy, and fulfillment abound. Remove anything in my life that hinders me from experiencing the fullness of your presence. Let my heart be continually aligned with you, so that I may walk in the path of life that you have prepared for me. Lord, let your presence saturate my home, my work, and every area of my life. As the psalmist declares in Psalm 27 verse 4, One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Father, I seek your presence, not just for a moment, but as a permanent dwelling place. May your spirit continually abide with me, guiding, comforting, and strengthening me. I give you all the glory and honor for the privilege of communing with you. Psalm 51, verses 10 to 12. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Lord, I come before you in humility, asking for your mercy and forgiveness. Your word says that you are a merciful God, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. 
as it is written in Psalm 103, verse 8. Father, I acknowledge my sins before you and ask that you cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Wash me thoroughly with the blood of Jesus and make me whiter than snow. Lord, do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Father, restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. I thank you for your promise in Psalm 103 verse 12 that as far as the east is from the west, so far have you removed my transgressions from me. Let me walk in the freedom that comes with your forgiveness. Teach me to extend the same mercy and grace to others as you have shown me. I thank you for your unfailing love that covers a multitude of sins. Psalm 18, verses 32 to 33. It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. Mighty God, I thank you because you are my strength and my shield. Your word declares that you arm me with strength and make my way secure. Lord, I come before you acknowledging my human weakness and asking for your supernatural strength. Empower me to face every challenge that comes my way with confidence and courage. Father, just as you made my feet like the feet of a deer and enabled me to stand on heights, give me the ability to rise above obstacles and trials. Strengthen my inner being through the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray for strength to resist temptation and to stand firm in my faith. Let your strength sustain me in times of weariness and give me the grace to persevere. Your word says in Psalm 46 verse 1 that you are our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Father, be my source of power and endurance. Help me to mount up with wings like eagles, to run and not grow weary, to walk and not faint, as it is written in Isaiah 40 verse 31. I place my trust in you, my rock and fortress. Thank you for the victory that comes through your strength. Psalm 103, verses 1 and 2. Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being, praise his holy name. Heavenly Father, I lift my voice in thanksgiving and praise for all you have done in my life. I bless your holy name with all my inmost being. Thank you for your countless blessings, your mercies that are new every morning, and your steadfast love that never fails. Lord, I am grateful for the gift of life, health, provision and protection. Your word in Psalm 136 verse 1 says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Indeed, you have been good to me, and I acknowledge your faithfulness in every season. Lord, I thank you not only for what you have done, but for who you are. You are my creator, redeemer, and sustainer. You crown me with love and compassion and satisfy my desires with good things, as stated in Psalm 103, verses 4 and 5. Father, I offer you my heartfelt gratitude for the grace and peace that surpasses all understanding. May my life always reflect an attitude of thanksgiving and praise to you. Thank you, Lord, for being my refuge and strength. I will forever declare your goodness and faithfulness. Psalm 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Lord, I come before you as my refuge and strength, my ever-present help in times of trouble. Father, I acknowledge that I cannot navigate the storms of life without your help. Your word says in Psalm 50, verse 15, Call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you will honor me. I call upon you now, Lord asking for your intervention in every situation that overwhelms me. Be my strong tower, my fortress, and my hiding place. I place my trust in you, knowing that you will never leave me nor forsake me. Lord, I ask that you calm every storm in my life, just as you stilled the stormy seas for your disciples. I take comfort in Psalm 121 verse 2, which says, My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Father, let your peace that surpasses all understanding guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. 
Strengthen me to endure and emerge victorious from every trial. Thank you for being my deliverer and my helper. I give you all the glory for the breakthroughs I know you will bring. Psalm 125, verse 1. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken but endures forever. Father, I put my trust in you, the unshakable rock of ages. Your word assures me that those who trust in you are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved but endures forever. Lord, I pray that you strengthen my faith and help me to trust you wholeheartedly, even in times of uncertainty. Let my heart be steadfast, trusting in your unfailing love and faithfulness. Your word in Psalm 37 verse 5 says, Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will do this. I commit my plans, dreams, and challenges into your hands, knowing that you will bring them to fruition. Lord, when doubts arise, remind me of your promises and past faithfulness. Teach me to rely on you completely and to lean not on my own understanding. Help me to wait patiently for your timing and to walk confidently in your plans. Let my trust in you inspire others to place their faith in you as well. Father, I declare that I will not be shaken because my trust is in you, my shield and my stronghold. Thank you for being the anchor of my soul. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you find this prayer content helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest prayer content.